KPP3 Communication Engineering. Actually, uh, this is my uh, question from my friends, a non-Muslim. Uh, uh, she asked me this question, but I cannot answer it. <laughs> okay, uh, question is, why uh, Allah, uh, our God, not show itself like another region God? Like uh, she's a uh, God, uh, she is a uh, Chinese. Uh, she know the physical of their gods, and she know about the power of their gods. So why uh, Allah not show itself? Thank you. So that was a question that one of his non-Muslim friends she asked him the question that why doesn't Allah, the God in Islam, show Himself like in other religions? They can see God. Why don't you? Why can't we see the God of Allah in Islam? The reason in the reason is that Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala in Islam is the true Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. If He shows Himself, you will not be able to live. He's so powerful. And the example we have in the Quran in Surah Taha, then Musa alayhi salam says, Oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I want to see you. So Allah says, I will show my glimpse to the mountain. You look what happens to the mountain. So when Musa alayhi salam turns his head to the mountain, Allah shows his glimpse to the mountain and Musa alayhi salam faints. Hmm. That is the power of Allah. He's so powerful that we human beings in this stage, we cannot see him. Yeah. And the definition of Allah is given in Surah Ikhlas, chapter number 112, verse number 1 to 4, which says, Qul huwallahu ahad. Say it Allah one and only. Allah hu samad. Allah the absolute and eternal. Lam yulad wa lam yulad. He begets not nor is he begotten. Wa lam yakul lahu kufu an ad. There's nothing like him in this world. Mm -hmm. The moment you can compare God to anything in this world, he's not God. Exactly. So any other religious people say this is God, the moment you can compare God, to anything in this world, he is not a true God. This is a four-line definition of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of Almighty God. Any human being, whichever God he or she worships, if that God fulfills this four-line definition, we agree that entity to be true God. Otherwise, it's not a true God. Mm. Say he is Allah one and only. Allah the absolute eternal. He begets not noise begotten. And let me ask you a question. Which is the highest reward that you can think you can get, brother? Mm, truly serving God. Where's the questioner? And I think making it to heaven. Where's the questioner gone? That should be paradise. I think so. Can you stand, brother? Yes, correct. Yes, I'm right. You are. I'm right. Brother, which is the highest reward you can get? Is this Highest a reward that a Muslim can get. <laughs> I love the Jannah. Smile, even you don't right? Really know the Is there anything higher than Jannah? No. No. Paradise. Yes? Heaven. Someone said yes? <laughs> yes? Is there anything higher than Jannah? I think there was hadith that. Just tell the answer. No. Is there anything higher than Jannah? Yes. So tell. What is it? Uh, seeing Allah, uh, the Jannah. Higher than Jannah is Firdos. Higher than Jannah is Firdos is Jannah is Firdos Allah. And the highest is seeing the face of Allah, the Vaj of Allah. We as human beings cannot see the Vaj, the face of Allah in this form. But when we go to Jannah, everyone in Jannah will not see the face of Allah. Mm. Only those who are in Jannah is Firdos or Jannah is Firdos or Allah, close to the Prophet, Allah will not show his face always. We would urge, we would desire to see his face. So the highest reward that any Muslim or any human being can get, Jannah is a high reward but not the highest. Jannah is the is high but not highest. It is seeing the face of Allah, the wajah of Allah. So tell your non-Muslim friend that if they follow the criteria of Surah Al-Asr, have Iman, have righteous deed, Exhort people to truth, exhort people to perseverance, she will go to Jannah, inshallah. But she has to follow the rules of the Quran. And if she goes to Quran, if she goes to the higher level of Jannah, if she enters, she'll be able to see the face of Jannah. Eh, we'll be able to see the face of Allah. Every human being 
will not see only those who receive the highest award in the next life, in the year after. Hope that answers the question, brother. Brother, do you want to see the face of Allah or not? Do you want to see the face of Allah or not? Yeah. Ah, Alhamdulillah. Inshallah. We pray to Allah that may put all of us in Jannah, in Jannah the Firdos, in Jannah the Firdos al Allah, and we see the face of Allah, Inshallah. So guys, definitely no one can see this face of God physically. It's not possible. I think if we talk about spirituality, people have witnessed God in several ways, you know, through dreams, through revelation. I think that's what the guy was trying to ask. I don't know if he meant by in another form, but physically it's not possible for us to see God physically. But God can show himself spiritually. He can use you as a medium or use somebody as a medium to show himself to you. But based on Quran, Zakinak is trying to tell us that there's no way Allah can show himself. And that is what Quran believes in. There's no way, there's no possible way Allah shows himself in Islam. That's what he's trying to say. And the only time you can actually see Allah or witness him is when you go to paradise, that is when you go to heaven, when you reach heaven, that you cannot see God face to face and, you know, that's doing judgment day. But say on this earth, he's saying, no, it's not possible. But for other religion, like Christianity, I can speak for Christianity because people witness God in diverse ways. They see God through dreams, they see God through revelation. So God doesn't really show physically but it shows spiritually to man to people and that's the most important thing this is a very beautiful question it looks tricky but it's not that difficult i don't know the chinese guy i don't know whether his female friend is um is a christian or she's an 80s or maybe you do god knows the religion she she's from so she threw this question to her chinese muslim brother and he could not answer the question because he was short of words he didn't know what to say and i'm sure maybe they had a long you know discussion on it or argument maybe the guy might have given her own point of view and the guy will be like oh okay i will definitely ask one of my muslim scholar you will definitely know the answer so and that was the perfect time for him to ask the answer he asked the answer and, I, and Zach and I gave a very beautiful answer very very beautiful answer he is not wrong he's not wrong we can't see god physically that was the explanation you know zakina is trying to point out in this video he's trying to let people know that see oh god is not a man he's only man that you can you know shake hands you know talk to physically and no god work in his own way he said that's how god is and that was a beautiful answer guys that was a beautiful i really enjoyed it. let me know your point of view in the comment box let me know what you feel uh and do you think zach knight was wrong about it or do you have more to add to it and based on my opinion what can you say about it let's keep this discussion going in the comment box so that's it guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to smash subscribe button for more action comment i'll see you in the next one